How's it get my friends? I am Marksman, and today I'm gonna to be playing The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, if you're like, whoa, why is your webcam in such a weird place? You'll see. You'll all see. Right. Now. What up? It's like right under the map. You see that? It's pretty cool, I think, anyway. Um, so yeah, Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I've been playing this game not as much recently. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter 4. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter 4. Um, and, you know, generally just Monster Hunter 4. Um, ooh, that is interesting. That is not as interesting. That is slightly more interesting, and I doubt we're going to do much better on the first floor, so why not? Oh, wait, why am I playing on normal? You might ask, well, why not, basically? It doesn't... I've already unlocked everything on hard mode. I probably should have shown you that beforehand to prove it. I might show it after if I remember, but whatever. I don't have anything to prove to you, savages. Okay, well, the point is... Um, I haven't played a lot of Isaac. I played one run yesterday. One, one run. That sounds really strange in any context that's not talking about a one that's already, a run, run that's already won. So I'm having a weird time thinking and parsing it in my head. Um, I, uh, okay. This, I don't like the gurglings, okay? That should be pretty clear. Okay, guys, guys. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a little break. Let's, uh, Break from reality. Little high, little low, something, something, Figaro, Mamma Mia. Let her go. I don't. You know what? I'm not a good person to ask when referencing songs or movies or really anything. Fuck. Fine. I'll show you my shit. All right. Hard. Except for the lost. I'm sorry. Except for the lost. But everything else, I have. I have 100 percented. Okay, so we're gonna play as Isaac. Uh, Eden? Isaac. We'll play as Isaac. I haven't done too many Isaac runs lately. I've been doing mostly Azazel, just because it's really fun, to be honest with you. I just like doing Azazel runs, you know? They're just fun to mess around with. It's just, you know, if you, it gives you the kind of freedom that you don't normally get with a with an Isaac run. You can play a lot more loosely. You can. It's a lot less daunting than taking on the the idea of doing an entire Isaac run. I don't know, to me, it just, you know, Cancer is pretty good and I will take it. It's a pretty good, pretty good item. I, I'd prefer if we got something that gave me more damage, but beggars can't be choosers, you know? First floor, you'll take what you can get, basically. I believe we have four HP right now. Uh, I could be wrong and I forget if cancer does what it says it does because some things are like HP up and then it gives you like three spirit hearts and you're like well that's not exactly what I thought you meant but it's good enough I suppose all right well that could have gone worse I suppose as well I don't I'm in a, a weird state of just complete skepticism of this whole run uh, maybe I should have waited until the end of this floor to go to the curse room but then again fuck off so yeah that's that's my whole logic there. You know what? I gotta give some people credit. Where credit's due, you know? It's it's a lot harder to play and talk while you're doing Isaac than it is to just play Isaac. Like, I, when I'm playing Isaac by myself, I'm like, you know what? I should probably go back for that. I should probably save this until the end of the floor, etc., etc. But instead, I find it a lot harder when I'm talking and playing. You're probably thinking, like, ooh, stream of consciousness, man. Like, oh, you didn't, when you're talking you're probably thinking to yourself more no 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 all of your brain power is diverted from your brain stem to your fingers except you, it's a weird state of consciousness when you're doing commentary there's two different states of consciousness that is one either you're paying way too much attention to the game and you're not doing enough commentary or you're paying way too much attention to the game wait to, to your comment see see you're paying way too much attention to your commentary and not paying enough attention to the game. This is a weird dichotomy, and it, it all comes back down to um, how you do commentary. A lot of people I know who have tried usually err on the side of, I need to focus on the game more. I like to recommend, why is this game running all slow? Like, we get like a message or something? What is going on? Weird. Um, no, it seems to be better. So, um, ah, oh, god dang it, fucking gurglings, man. Okay, um, 
most people who I've seen who've been like, oh yeah, I want to do a YouTube channel, I want to make gaming videos, blah blah blah, they're all like, yo dog, I I just uploaded a video, can you check it out? And it's like their first video. I'm like, you know, yeah, sure, I'll check it out for you. Most of the time, sometimes I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't want to deal with your time. I don't have time for you. I have time for me. I'm a college student, man. I have better stuff to do. I have bigger fish to fry. But sometimes, on the occasions, usually when they're people I know, friends of mine, things like that, and they're like, yo, dog, can you check out my stuff? I'm like, okay, I check it out. And usually they're all like, like just to give you. Uh, and it, like kind of like an example, I suppose. I'll, I'll just simulate what happens. Oh, nice magic mushroom. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go to the next floor. You know, it's like they don't really talk much. Either that or what they're saying has very little to no actual dialogue in it. Like, they're talking a lot, but there's very little content behind their words. And I feel, I fall prey to that sometimes. I like to, I, there are very few, like certain games, I guess. Certain games, I I've, have that previous trapping that I was talking about where I don't talk enough. I, I like, uh, I think one of the ones that that happened the most was probably Spec Ops The Line. Now that game, if you're not aware, takes a lot of brain power to to consider, and you're trying to follow the narrative, blah 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 blah. It's it's a good game. It's very story driven, and the fact is, you're probably not going to be talking too much, otherwise you're going to be ruining the story. And I don't know anymore whether or not that game has a, like a. I don't know. It seems to be getting a lot more negative, negativity, garnering more negativity in recent memory. I don't know why. I think that game is really good, so I can't I can't badmouth it at all, to be honest with you. So I don't know why I, I've been hearing some people. I'm not gonna name any names, but it seems like some people have a more negative than positive opinion on it for the most case, for most cases, I guess. Um, but then again, there are definitely people who aren't saying that. So I'm maybe I'm just talking out of my dong hole. That that would be really weird, wouldn't it? It would be very strange. Um, Put a bomb here. Clear out some little areas. Maybe shoot some spitters. Spit a spatters. Yo. Alright, you gonna Okay, whatever. That works too. Okay, uh So Spec Ops line, what, what was I saying? Something about okay, negative attention, but also what I was trying to say before that was I think most of the time for that game, you're gonna want to like listen to the story, you know. There's just a lot of a lot of story beats, there's a lot of cutscenes. It's a very narrative-driven game, and that's kind of the point, right? I mean, that's basically their whole thing was like, oh, it's a very, it's a game about you know insanity, PTSD, crazy stuff like that. And you're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But it's really hard for certain games, especially that one, to do commentary while you're while you're playing them. That's not to say that it's impossible, that's to say that, you know, certain games definitely warrant more commentary than others. Things like, uh, my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, that had a pretty good long tail as well for, uh, for views, actually, which was nice. But probably the best long tail was my Dark Souls 2 No Shield Run. And Dark Souls is a whole nother freaking beast up in this snap snapple beast up in this snapple. You can tell that I'm definitely the hardest motherfucker out there. Uh, it, it's... Okay. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a different kind of game. You, you probably can talk over that one more effectively without covering up as much dialogue as you would be in in a game like... Uh, what was the other one I was talking about? Like... Uh, um, like Spec Ops The Line. But then again, it's a lot harder to talk over it, or it's not, sorry, not to talk over it. It's a lot of, well, yeah, talk over it, I suppose. Um, it's a lot harder, mostly because of the fact that it's really fast paced and you have to be focused all the time when you're playing it. It's a lot more, it takes a lot more brain processing power, which is a different conversation in and of itself when it comes to commentary. but. Uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. 
So let's. Um, okay, so let's do that. All right, well that works. Okay, that was not exactly as I would wish it to have gone. Hmm, let's go to the shop. That was not the best idea. So we're gonna get this and this, and then possibly have a reroll for the item room. I don't like, I think this is Aquarius? I wanna say it's Aquarius, I don't like it. All right, 99 bombs, pretty freaking good item. So I'm gonna be happy with that. Uh, I think the secret room could probably be right here. Got 99 bombs with a ho ain't one. Okay, I'm not gonna go down that path. All right, sweet. We got uh, some more monies. All the money, man. Holy junk. But now, wait a second. Wait, uno momento, por favor. There's an item on sale. So let's see if we can do a little bit of minimum minimum maxing. All right, blue map, totally worth it. Especially with 99 bombs, it'll save me a lot of time. But PhD is so good. Oh, fine, for the sake of the run. For the hunt! Okay. Especially since I've been dumping a lot of money into it uh, as of late, I think I deserve to take a little bit out, you know? Especially with Pyro. It's nice, it's nice, you know? Come on, dog. Thank you. Awesome. And that should refill our heart so I can go back down and possibly play the the Daemon Judgment a little bit more. We'll do like we did before. Get some more money out of it. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm okay with this. Well, I'm not going to have enough money to generate a shop on the next floor. Well, I can, actually. Well, I can go back again now. Oh my god, how long do I want to do this for? I don't know. I wish I had the ability to fly. I didn't even mention the fact that there was less than three there. I was just kind of assuming that you as well as I, it was just completely... We'll talk about that. I just completely was assumed that if I gained the ability to fly, I would definitely go back for it. And that's pretty much 100% true. Um, cause what better way to spend one room of flight, like a hanged man card than just getting an extra HP, right? I mean, what's the, what's the major issue, yo, you know, you know, <sighs> I wish, I wish I had a fish. No, I wish, I wish I had the ability to fly though. Should we just go down to the next floor? I think I'm just going to go to the next floor. It's not worth my time. Probably. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm making a big mistake, but that's okay. We'll be fine. I have a little bit of damage. That's nice. I haven't even mentioned, I have a scythe in the background, guys. It's awesome. Crystal bought it for me. She bought me a scythe, and I'll be level. I will completely level with you down to the goddamn earth. I broke it on the first day because I swung it too hard. It snapped in half. Not the blade. The, the shaft. The shaft of the scythe snapped in half because I... I swung it too hard. And then I taped it back together and put it right there. So it's not a functional scythe. So you will not see it in Marks and Cut Stuff Part 4, which is on the way, yo! Just for the record. Um, but you'll definitely see it on the, as a wall hanger for the rest of eternity. Because it is pretty dope. It looks awesome, that's for sure. I look at it every freaking day when I leave this room, I'm like, dude. I have a scythe. I want a functional one, but it's really hard to find a functional scythe. You know that? You probably don't know that. There probably aren't a whole lot of you who have looked for a functional scythe in, in over the course of your life as many times as I have Googled it on the internet. But um, I'm definitely the odd man out on this one. I understand what, what you would be getting at. But at the same time, it is hard to find a functional scythe. Let's just put it that way, all right? Because most of the time when you look for one, or if you find one, it's usually like, ooh, freaking Soul Eater, Death Scythe, ooh, replica, cosplay, anime foam prop, and I'm like, God, that's what I'm looking for. I just want a real scythe, man. That'd be so awesome. Do you even understand? You probably understand. You'd probably be like, yeah, man, I'm totally with you on this one. Hopefully. 
Either that or you're like, I don't know if I respect weaponry. I'm not killing people with them. I mean, if someone like came into my house, dog, you'd have a lot of shit to deal with. I'm just saying. I'd have my freaking hand and a half sword right next to me at all times, so maybe I would even get it on a freaking recording. That'd be crazy, wouldn't it? And then like two and a great sword over in the corner, right over there. And then on top of that, I, I have a lot of weaponry in my house. Let's just put it that way. I have a boar spear in the other corner. Then I have freaking two kendos. Oh my gosh. Why am I shooting so fast? Oh, liberty cap, right? Um, then I have a freaking boar spear in the other corner. Two kendo swords. A uh, fake elucidator, which let's not get into that one. But um, the point is, you would not be in a good place if you came into my house. Let's just put it that way. All right, I'm putting it lightly. You'd have to put up with me throwing a bunch of fucking steel and sharpened, more sharpened steel at you. Lots of steel would be flying in your general direction. Let's just put it that way. Oh my god. Mom's key is so good. That is one of my favorite shop items. And yes, I'm going to blow this up some more because I really, really want it. But I want it, Mom! We could probably get a penny somewhere. Heck, I might have even left one behind, but I don't know if I did. We'll see. Let's re-roll this thing. We'll see if we can get another re-roll. Because if not, then... <sighs> I guess that's what the definition of settling is. And we will save this for when I get Mom's key, which will be at some point during this run. It will. I promise. I promise. Mom! I swear to God! If you don't close my door right now, I will, I will punch you, you bee! Oh my god. <sighs> I want money, not keys. I don't know why I'm destroying that little subsection of area, but I'm doing it because fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Guys, I need more damage, like, pretty badly. And I was half tempted to take brother Bobby right pretty sure that one was Bob. fuck <sighs> all right you know what I couldn't really get by that one okay <sighs> deal with the devil please have something that gets me the ability to fly please oh my god why why would you poop in the most inopportune of places? Oh my god. Can you die? Thanks. Also, have you guys heard about the update coming to the original Binding of Isaac? Which I find, to be honest, kind of a silly venture, all things considered. Rebirth is literally better than the Binding of Isaac original slash Wrath of the Lamb in almost every single sense. So I just... Oh, yes. Nice. Alright, give me Spirit of the Night. Something something along those lines, please. Mark and Dark Boom. I I want both. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Dark Boom. Now, you'll probably be like, mm, what does it matter? Well, there's a bunch of stuff left on this floor. I have 15 cents now. I don't know when I got that 15 cent, but. I'm doing it. F you. I won't do what you tell me. Ah! Made it. Okay. Only took two hearts of damage. You might be like, oh, only two hearts of damage? You shouldn't have taken any damage. Well! Alright. Fucking Usain Bolt. Let's see how you do better, okay? Jesus. Man, some people. In great that I just made up in my head right now. Some people, you know? Alright, we'll be back for you. I'm gonna go get mom's key, and then we'll talk. Then we'll talk. Please let there be more than three rooms left to this floor. Uh, I really don't want Brother Babby. Really don't want him. I cannot emphasize enough how much I don't want him. Thank you. You already paid for yourself functionally. 
Brother Babby. Ah, you're disgusting. You're evil. You're a mean one, Brother Bobby. Oh my god. I bought PhD and I'm not getting any freaking pills, like, at all. I'm not gonna leave Brother Bobby behind, but at the same time, I don't really... I hate this scenario. I hate it. I hate it a lot. That's fine. Are you sure? If I left a battery in the shop, that would be enough to convince me to bomb the donation machine. I didn't. Really don't want rubber, 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 baby, 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 baby. Oh my God! You're look at you, look at you shooting all uselessly. Honestly, there could have been a case made to not pick him up at all. Because if I get like dark, uh, not dark bomb. Uh, what's it called? This is a guy, the little brimstone. If I get a little brimstone, it would make it really hard to aim. So there could have been a case put together to ignore him, but I'm taking him because it's kind of like a really, really, really tiny damage upgrade. And that's better than nothing. Sort of. <laughs> Somewhat. Oh boy. Okay, this is gonna be fun. I love Curse of the Unknown, you know? I love Curses, to be honest with you. They're easily my favorite addition to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. All these really fun curses. I'm only being half sarcastic. And pride should be a cakewalk. Because you are already dead. Two of hearts. Two of hearts. Okay. We'll take the two of hearts card. <laughs> For grandularity's sake. Is that even a word? Grand gratuity's sake? Who? What? I don't understand. I know gratuity is kind of like what... It's kind of like a tip, sort of. I think. <laughs> Look, man. I don't use your fancy... I don't use your fancy shitty words, alright? It's okay, I'm American, I can do that. And I... could have been considered a redneck. I... probably the most rednecky Californian you'll ever meet. Probably. There's like a 45% chance of that being true. Because I know some pretty rednecky Californians, though. But I'm up there. I am definitely on that list for sure. I put myself on there. Because America. See? There you go. That's how I justify deserving it. That's how you win anyone's favor, honestly, in America. If you're ever like, yo, uh, how do you get to the train station? And some guy's like, dude, fuck off. Like, I'm not gonna help you. In America, specifically. Actually, no, this could work anywhere. Just be like, brah. Don't say bruh. You're not a dickhead. Alright? Don't don't use those that fucking idiom. It's called an idiom for a reason, because you're a goddamn idiot if you say it. Because I really okay, you're probably like, man, you're bitter about this. I hate it when people say bruh. I, that was dumb. I don't know why I have such an absolute negative like just absolute hatred for that phrase. Ugh. Okay, that's better actually. Having 97 butt bombs is pretty, pretty dece. Pretty hashtag dece. I really want. That was silly. Um, I really want the black candle because I'm getting real tired of these curses. That'd be a nice shop item to get. But who knows, you know? If you don't know, now you know. You never shine. If you don't glows a whistle, yo. Take that. Thanks. Thanks, bruh. I you you probably were like, did you say bruh? You just said it, didn't you? I was I did not say it. Okay, you can fuck off. Nobody, you don't understand how my brain works. You don't understand the inner machinations. They would drive you insane. Mostly because it's just. A, a gif of or gif it's just a gif of me pile driving I was gonna say many things right there but I'm gonna go with the, the more inane one a 
Okay, now I can't think of it because I tried to think of one that's even more inane than the inane one. The inane one, for the record, was Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then I, the less inane one was a hooker. And now I realize that this is just a weird thing to talk about, period. So I don't know why I'm going down this road still, but I've already kind of, you know, made the bed. And you already washed the sheets and shit, so why not just, like, lie in it? It's probably gonna smell pretty good, at least. Even if it's made of the shit, it'll probably still smell pretty good, to be honest with you. I just came out of the washing machine. It can't be that bad, to be honest. Oh, we could buy the blue candor. I kind of want to buy the blue candor. Sounds like I'm saying candor. In like a really... Not suggestive would be the right word. A very strange voice. Ooh, I just recorded the Paint the Town Red video, and that was that was a fun time. I had a good time with that one. I had a good time with that one. I felt like I had spot-on commentary on that one. I felt like that one was actually pretty funny. Unlike my usual bullshit. Okay, let's go in here. Ah, oh, two Gups Gupsies items. Ranjay up. Tele pills. Well, I have mom's thing. Mom's thing. I take Guppy's tail because that actually will harvest or harvest. That will so many benefits for us in the future. If we can get one HP upgrade while we're still on this floor, which isn't unheard of, but it's also fun heard of. Oh, cause that's funny. No, no, no. Okay. Um. Oh, snap! Nice. Boom! That's useless to me. Okay. <gasps> I'm having hiccups. Where did the? Yeah, I kind of want one key for for a bomb because that's a pretty good trade to be honest with you in this situation. Seeing as I have ninety six five bombs and five keys, probably would want more. More keys. Like if I can trade a key for a bomb, that's probably a good trade. Do I? I'm not gonna get rid of the D6. So, yeah, that was a pretty good, pretty good idea. Verify my email. Evernote. How about you fuck off? All right. That's that's where I am right now. Evernote can suck my dick. Even though they provide a pretty good service for me, to be honest with you, but um, I haven't really used it that much. But you know. All right, whatever. You get the point, okay? Evernote can suck my dick. That's what I'm getting at. I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly. I wish I could touch the sky. I can't take that, yeah. Not even a reroll it. That's a little disappointing. That's okay. We passed up the opportunity for two guppy items. That's not really my choice, though. If I miss something, my bad. I don't think I did, though. Yeah, let's see. Okay, yeah, just all the bombs in the goddamn universe at the same time, packed into two separate chests. And some spiders, so, you know, red chests sometimes, as much as you help me, sometimes I just want to also tell you to follow suit with uh, Evernote. Fuck off. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, guys, Trailer Park voice has affected my language in a very large way. I used to be very, very language conscious. I used to be very, like, mild when speaking. I'm very, very reserved, usually. Not to the point of just, like, complete freaking censorship, but to the point where if you talk to me in person, you'd probably be like, yeah, that dude doesn't cuss very much. But Trailer Park Boys has completely changed that. Now I have the mouth of a goddamn sailor. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway. That's all I have to say about that one. Also, that show is really funny. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It is Canadian's Gem. The Canadian's Gem. A Canadian Gem. It is a gem. It's a gem full of gems. Gem full of gems. I'm going the wrong way, by the way. You can tell because usually the second secret room is always pretty pretty significantly close to the boss room. 
Very much so. Did I leave behind a bomb? No, that's a turn. Petrified turn. Petrified poop, to be exact. What's up this way? The hollow. We're probably going towards our shop slash item room combo now. Probably item room. Item room seems to be usually pretty far away from the boss. In most cases, I could be... Oh, wow. Wow! Gosh, Mom's Key, sometimes you... You are a beautiful mistress. Not as beautiful as my, bro my beautiful girlfriend watching this right now, of course, but... Uh, you know, sometimes you help me out in great situations. And it's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Giving me freaking a golden key and like a thousand pennies and... A dime and a nickel in the same freaking chest. Heck yeah, dog. I'll take that nine to ten times if it's served. Dude, that is the pesto to my sandwich. Also, if you could leave in comments, leave in the comments because I'm not an uncouth swine. Leave it in the comments. What is your favorite sandwich topping? Mostly sauce is my uh, little marquee there. I'm talking about sauces. Um, I would say my my favorite is probably pesto. That's a more recent development. I haven't always liked pesto my whole life. In fact, for a long time, I thought pesto looked disgusting. I didn't know what it was, really, to be honest with you. I, I saw it on my sandwiches. I'm like, dude, what's this green shit? It looks fucking gross. And then I have him remove it. And then I was like, where did all the flavor go? And then... I was like, you know what, leave everything on the sandwich this time. And then I tried it and I was like, this is dope as hell. And then I was like, you know, I started learning what it was like, what was giving me all this beautiful green flavor and they called it pesto. And I was like, yo dog, I wanna put that on everything. And so I did, put it on pretty much everything to be honest with you. And I don't regret a second of it. Did I already go? No, I did not go to the item room or the shop. Both of which I want to go to since they're free in both keys and I have enough money and I have a reroll. So, seems like a pretty good time. Now is a good a time as any! Also, I've been watching One Piece a lot. That show is really good. It's a good, it's a good show. Old Bean, good show. Whoa, what is this whole shebang up in this? What is, whoa, okay, let's just leave because it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Let's go down here. I have a feeling good things are gonna come my way if I go down in this region. I was gonna say seminal region. I don't think that's where I wanna go, to be honest with you. I mean, if that's your thing, that's fine, but I don't, I don't think that's my thing. Oh, that's, that's the humbling bundle. That's a pretty, pretty decent item I'd say it's uh it's up there it's probably not much better than uh it's like not even as good as polythemus actually so it's not even that good it's basically a trash tier item to be honest with you but I'll take you just because you know granularity grand granularity's sake I knew it I actually had a feeling I was like this item room is gonna be in between this little diddly doodly fork thing I don't know why I turned into goddamn Ned Flanders right there, but I did. So deal with it. Diddly doodly fork thing. Okay. Guillotine. It's a damage upgrade. Oh, wow. That's lucky. Do I want to take it? I don't think I want to take it because I have a feeling it's going to really mess with my head. Book of Secrets is... It's okay. I'll just do that. Cause... See, do I have enough rooms? I don't think I have enough rooms. Let's try it. Maybe. We'll see. If every single one has combat, I don't think we'll be able to make it still, but... Actually... Hold the phone. Best case scenario, fight Krampus on the deal with the devil that we're guaranteed because we got go-hit on the first floor. And then there's a chance... For him to drop Lump of Coal, and if he drops Lump of Coal, then I'm not gonna reroll, and if I don't reroll it... That means I get an extra thingamabobber, you know? Let's throw a scent in there, okay. Alright, what are we lacking in this run? I have okay damage. I am pretty good on health at the moment. 
playing like a conga liner. Wait, I meant to say, wait, hold on a second. Oh, I still don't even have enough rooms of fighting because of, of that donation machine room. Uh, so even if I fight Krampus, it's all for naught. N-A-U-G-H-T, that is. Now we get... I got some spirit hearts. That's nice. Thanks for not having to make me spend one of my 99 bombs. I appreciate that, I suppose. What a thoughtful dude you are, War. You're such a nice guy. Kube of meat. And Krampus. So it would have all gone according to plan. Next, wait, let's see if he gets the lump of coal first. I don't want to speak too soon. Don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to speak too soon. And it wasn't. So, fuck me. Yeah, we'll take I Can See Forever to the next floor. No, there's nothing left. Okay, fuck I Can See Forever. We're taking telepills so we can go to the... We can't go to the boss rush. Alright, we're taking I Can See Forever. Uh, I'm an idiot. I even like registered in my brain. I was like, there's no way I can go to boss rush on this run. I don't have enough like time. It's never going to happen. We're probably going to fight greed on our next shop, actually. So there's no reason really to even go to the shop. But I can try anyway. Because I'm a hopeful young lad. My dream is to live my own life. And become the king of the swordsmen. The world's greatest swordsman. It's only on the grand line in the one piece though so actually it's in two pieces because i cut it in half oh <laughs> get wrecked okay that's not the point oh sh schultz schultz um i thought we were done with this but we're not so i'm just gonna keep shooting loki with my tears until he dies that's a weird sentence guys i've never said that before in my life man this game, Binding of Isaac, is so weird. <laughs> Am I right, guys? It's all it's all fucked up, right? I mean, we're shooting, we're trying to kill our mom, guys. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I really do dislike it when people. I'm like, I show people the game. I'm like, you know, it's a really good game. It's a really great road. Like, it has really smooth mechanics. It's such a, it has, you know, blah blah. blah. And then they're like, do you try to kill your mom? That's so fucking weird, dude. That's fucked up. I'm like. No, no shit, dude. No shit. Thank you. I appreciate your sentiment on the matter. It's not like I didn't realize that when I started playing this game fucking like four years ago. Was it four years ago? I mean, the original, of course, but was it four years ago? I don't remember exactly. I came in like right around Wrath of the Lamb time, so I don't know exactly how long ago that was, but yeah. That, what was I talking about? We'll take it. I want more damage, so. I am not that good at not killing myself with it. But then again, I'm better than most at not killing myself with it. So we'll see. We'll see how things go. Oh, for God. Ugh. Oh my God, what the heck? Why are you dropping all the dang spirit hearts all of a sudden, Dark Bomb? It's freaking kicking into high gear. We're stepping it up now. We're new level, new level of gaming. It's called uh, Grand Grand. I was gonna say Grand Magic Games. That's an entirely different anime. There's a lot of grand stuff in anime. You know that? Just want you to know that. Ugh. The Chariot. Chariot card. Okay. Yum heart, that is useless. Mystery sack, I haven't picked it up yet, so you might as well. I know what it does. It's kind of, yeah, might as well, why not? Uh, we have two more spear hearts in this room alone. And I was gonna pick one up as soon as I entered the door anyway, so why not? <sighs> okay. All right, that was easy. Oh, that wasn't as easy if I had taken damage, but I didn't, so don't know why I'm talking about that 
stuff. Yeah, might as well. Why not? Yes. 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 Somebody up there likes me. The guppy. The guppy is coming to town. The guppy is coming to town. We all love guppy, so why don't we kill the puppy? That's pretty fucked up. Let's not kill the puppy, alright? Did we find- yeah, we already found our item room, so what, what did we get in there? Mystery sack? That's useless. Well, useless when we already have humbling bundle and shit, so... I'm not gonna say it's always a useless item, because if you need consumables and you're on the first few floors, it could definitely give you that jump start in the beginning that most people need. But I didn't need it. I did when I started the run, but I definitely don't anymore. You are a guppy. And what you have to do is you have to let him pick all of them up. Make sure he doesn't drop any of them right away. Then he'll do that. And then you leave the room, and then they'll all be spirit hearts instead of red hearts. Because if you let him drop... Because if you let them drop all of them in that room, they'll all be red hearts anyway. So you have to be very careful about that. And I found what I'm going to reroll. I want the compass though. Yes. Sure. Why not? Sure. I shouldn't have eat, eaten, eaten it. Taken it. Whatever. Shouldn't have done it, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, what else is there? The hero font. I should probably go back and get that. You're not exactly breaking any land speed records here, but we're making time. This is a time. You're right about that. This has become a really powerful run. I'm not going to call it yet, because I have been known to F things up pretty miserably. But that's usually when I don't have a pretty constant stream of health coming in. I have a pretty constant stream of health coming in right now. So I think I'll be mostly okay. We'll see, though. We'll see how things play out. <laughs> Waiting for the mom's hands to come down the... The wall masters, they are wall masters. Wall masters. It sounds like a 1980s freaking action hero anime. Please re-roll into a guppy item. It's not even that wonderful yet. Please. That's not... That works, I suppose, but it's not what I was looking for. Man, those tears are big. Granted, it's not a damage up, so don't be disillusioned by that. It simply gives you piercing slash spectral shots. They go through walls, they go through everything, because they are aura tears. They don't have any knockback, though. Which can be an issue, depending on how you're running your run. But at the moment, it's more good for me than bad, so I'm pretty happy to take it. Alright, and you should be dead right now. Alright, let's take the Polaroid. Shake it, shake it like a pol- <gasps> Guppy Dream! Woo! You will become one with the Guppy, my son. I feel lightheaded after that. Drink some water. Guys. We're guppy. We're guppy. Guys, we're guppy. Woo! <laughs> Alright, that was scary. But, even though we skipped a guppy item previously, we still became guppy. So, I can't be too unhappy about that. Oh, the flies. The flies. They're everywhere. You can't stop the pain train, yo. You can't stop the Twitch bomb. <laughs> yeah, I was there for that. Hey, one up. Have I gotten one up before? I don't think I've gotten one up before from the secret room. So you might as well, I might as well take it. Could have re-rolled it. It's rare, really, really rare that you get a secret room item nowadays. So might not have been the worst thing in the world to have re-rolled it for something more rare. Wow, okay. Now the game is just being too generous to me. I mean, now we can become super guppy, destroyer of anuses, but I think we'll skip out on that one. I'll mash B on the transformation, or hold B or whatever. Oh my god, 
god, look at all the freaking cash, cash money. Yo, I shout to all my homies in the club. I'm like, ah, I'm rolling guppy, guppy, guppy. That's not even a song. So, if you were like, that's a pretty, that's a pretty apt reference, Mark. I didn't know you could do that. I just, <laughs> you, I fooled ya. Fooled ya? You didn't know, you none the wiser, probably. You're probably like, that's a pretty dope reference. I understand where you're doing. Well, it wasn't anything. Unless it is, in which case, I totally meant to do that, and I'm totally trying to mislead you right now on purpose. All of it. I meant all of it. I want to reroll that box of splice. Kind of wish I could go... I mean, actually, I'm okay with the chess pool, or the golden chess pool being whatever right now. Mostly because I already have guppy, and usually you can get those from golden chests, mostly. But since I already have become Guppy, there's no real reason to ask for more Guppy items, and I'm pretty sure I've taken all of them. Like, I'm pretty sure I've gotten every single Guppy item. And pick it up, and then we leave, and then you drop a bunch of Spirit Hearts. Look at all those Spirit Hearts. Oh my god. I can do whatever I want without repercussion for, like, four hits. Ugh. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about you in a second. If we can get another way... Because that's a passive item. It will be more damage. As much as I dislike admitting that. It will be more damage than nothing. Than functionally a useless spacebar item. So we're going to reroll the spacebar item. And if it turns into something awesome, awesome. And we'll keep it. Then if we run out of rerolls and speedball, I need a shot speed up. Okay, that's that's fair. Mostly because of the toxic aura tiers, they're pretty slow. So you wanna you wanna stack up a tiny bit of shot speed at least. Oh my god, do you even see the madness that is ensued by this? This run is awesome. It's not quite as awesome as some of my other runs. Like, I got one that was um, triple shot Ipecac. And shots were just exploding in my face, but it wasn't damaging me for some reason. So I basically became invincible, had a triple kamikaze on command, and could kill anything. It was awesome. I really liked that run a whole lot, but sadly I didn't get what I wanted on recording because I was watching One Piece, you know? We're going to save the Joker card. We're going to save the Joker card. We're going to take this Joker card and we're going to save it. We're going to save it like an investment bureau saves their bonds from the IRS. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I've never worked at an investment bureau, nor do I really plan on doing so. So if that made sense, awesome. If it didn't, well, no, don't talk to me. I don't want to know. Okay, well, there's enough spear hearts to go around, trust me. I was hoping I could get like a sick item out of it, but eh, that's fine too. Do you, how did I get to 97 cents? I don't even know how that happened. I haven't been paying enough attention to realize how that happened. That is the sign of a very overpowered run. This run is very, oh my god, freaking Bob's Brain. Whatever. I'm okay with Bob's Brain because it's the butt bomb effect as well. So it'll damage everything. It's kind of like having necro, mini Necronomicon every time it explodes. So that's pretty good. I'm okay with it. Let's go reroll Abel. Able is a um, little bit, you know, if you're able, you can take your elbows off the table, but uh, I won't have enough. Fine. Ah, game, you want, you really just want me to take some terrible items, don't you? This game is just like, dude, hey, psst, you should take, you should take this item. You should take Dead Bird. You know? Don't you like that sweet little fucking rotting little pigeon thing raven thing who gives a shit it doesn't matter do you want him I'm like no game i don't want him I'm like it's really fun trust me I'm like i i don't want i trust me i don't want him and they're like you will you will because there's no other option 
And then it holds me at gunpoint. I'm like, fuck, dude, fine. I'll just take the damn dead bird. And then the game is like, yeah, that's what I thought. I told you it's fun. I'm like, I took it because you held me at gunpoint. It's like, <laughs> shut up. And then it shoots me in the face. Or in the knee. Let's say the kneecap. It's more gratuitous. Yes. Yes. Yep, more damage. I'm okay with this. I'm not taking the HP because now I will have the invincibility from the Polaroid. Love is like a Polaroid. Wait, how does that song go? It's the new Imagine Dragons album. I like it a whole lot, actually. I, I liked it more than I had anticipated, actually. It's, it's good. I like it. Um, love is like a Polaroid. Some, uh, something about Polaroids and something about love. It's like all Imagine Dragons songs, to be honest with you. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna beat around the bush. It's fairly... Fairly standard for them. Oh my... Yeah, the game wants me to donate, I suppose, so... We'll humor it. There's literally no reason not to. Oh, well, that's a reason not to. I kind of figured that would happen, but I just didn't know how long it would take. What's down here? Well, there's greed. And there goes greed. To Deathland. Why not take this, right? And then we'll just get a whole truckload of keys. Can I, like, leave the room and come back and will they be double keys? No. That'd be cool, though, wouldn't it? Well, why not? We'll just take all the keys in the known universe and then save them and hog them all for myself because I'm a selfish son of a bitch. All right. What's in here? Can we get something good in here? Yeah, why not? Pandemic's box. Pandora's Demic. Pandemic's Dora. Yeah, why not? Actually, I should... I could re-roll this theoretically, but fuck it. Oh, well, I can re-roll that too. That works fine. Is that Spider Baby? In yeah, I don't like Spider Baby all that much. Thanks. Thanks, bum friend. Dark bum friend. Dank bum friend. Range up. Ranger up. Tears up. That's essentially a fly up, which is what I was hoping for. Let's get some more dank bum action up in here. What? Dropping the sickest beats on yo mother since 1995. Yo. I feel like this episode is absolutely 100% not improved in any way with my face cam. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that I have a scythe. Also, I feel less awkward on face cam now, so that's fine. Not that I really felt awkward ever on face cam, I just kind of, I don't know, thought it was interesting, strange. Thought it was interesting, strange. It's, uh, it's my, it's my thing, thinking things that are interesting, strange. And mom's heart is dead. You should all know by now that that... That devil room right there doesn't have a devil room item in it. it. Just has a trip down to Shoal, so let's just go. Oh my living legend, Lantas. Yep, let's do that. Let's see what we can get. No, don't want any of that. So I got Bramstone. Fire and Bramstone. Yep, that's pretty good damage right there. I'm not going to say that it is bad, because that would be... The most sandbaggy shit of all time. It would be like I'm building a barricade that the military makes with all the sandbags in the universe. Fate? No. I don't want fate. I'll reroll it. I've gotten fate before plenty of times. I think. I don't care. This in this in this context, taking it just because I haven't gotten it would actually detriment my run, so I'm not gonna take oh hello. Nice try there, buddy. Yeah, let's take a range upgrade pill. That seems pretty good. Just in case I didn't have enough range. Because Bramstone doesn't have infinite range anymore. They actually nerfed it in the last patch. Don't know if you know this. I, oh. <laughs> That's really satisfying, you know that? It's been a while since I had a nice Broomstone run. 
You can't say, well, all right, you can say I got carried, but I wouldn't be happy about it. I thought I didn't pick up that key. That's why I did a little dance there. Okay. I need that, actually. For a second, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't need that. I have full health. I actually do need that. Let's go kill Isaac. Go reroll one of the two stupid items I got. Uh, probably gonna do that. Oh my god, I have so many consumables. It's actually just insane. Okay, and you should be dead. Thanks for the extra room of charge, which is all you functionally were to me, Isaac. So, good luck with your life, and uh, I'll see you next time. Stay frosty, Isaac! <laughs> Do I even want that? I don't know if I want that. Uh, it can't really help me, can it? I mean, I'm charging fast enough. Let's just... In her eye. Oh. My god. Does this shoot triple brimstone? Yes, it does. Oh my fuck, boy. Yep. Um. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, triple brimstone, anyone? Triple, triple brimstone, anyone? Should have came down here with a reroll, but it's Curse of the Blind anyway, so it functionally doesn't matter at all. Proptosis! Ipecac! Robo Baby 2.0. Bob's perfume. Oh my god. Everything will die. Nothing can live anymore. There's no such thing as life where I'm going. You're not allowed to have a soul. Not where I come from. I live in the land of soulless humans who feed off of the husks of other humans who have long since passed. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I don't even care anymore. Ipecac, Proptosis, Triple Shot, Brimstone. All in one run. In one room. Or two rooms, I guess, but still... I'm waiting to pick up an item that just fucks it all up, but I don't even care anymore, guys. This is just absolutely insane. There is literally no reason to not pick everything up. It can only get better, I think. Unless I just pick something up that just totally ruins us all. But it doesn't matter. I just... What the heck? I think this would be one of the first runs where I actually just instant kill, insta kill freaking blue baby. Just no map, just no problems at all. Oh my god. Let's just go up to him and shoot him in the face. Just shotgun brimstone blast. Yep, yep, okay. Yeah, why not clear the chest? Because fuck it. I mean, I could easily just end the run right now and go under an hour, but. Who even cares anymore? I just like killing stuff with this. This is really satisfying. Algae's room. Lemon mishap. Oh. Oh no. Boo fuckity who, you know? Kiddo. Is that it? Yeah, you're all dead. Okay. Oh my god. This is just absolutely insane. I. This is this is probably one of my favorite runs of all time now. I'm not even saying that just to be like, Ooh, it's so cool. No, no, no. This is actually just really awesome. What the heck, man? You cannot stop me. There is nothing in the whole universe. That can, oh, that actually might put a little damper on me. But still, you can't really do much about it. I'm just not gonna take infinite damage before I die, too. I'm just not gonna have invincibility, oh no. It's time to turn off the cheat codes, this, I guess, guys. Oh my god. Proptosis triple shot. Brimstone. This is... Oh, there we go, Book of Revelations, whoop-de-doo. What is this? Miter? Oh. Look at that. I guess we'll generate some more spirit hearts then. Yeah, okay. 
should we? I don't even care anymore. Let's just see if Greed's in the secret room. He probably is. Let's see. I'll just no. Never mind then. We have PhD. Why not get some use out of that? Remember? Yeah, I remember too. Back when I got PhD and did nothing with it. Hey, pills. More health ups. Pretty flies. Wow. Okay. Health up would have come in handy. I would have become guppy like a few floors earlier. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed and want to see more content like this, like this and many other things, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the marks 46. Mark the marks and oh wait, twitch.tv wait, twitter.com slash mark the marks and twitch.tv slash mark 46. And as always, stay frosty, frosty. <laughs>